Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation, welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, I'll be discussing what the A330neo is, the future plans for it, the airlines that have already ordered it, and the airlines I personally believe should consider ordering it. I hope you all enjoy the video. So the Airbus A330neo is a wide body jetliner which is still currently under development by Airbus. This A330neo was developed from the highly successful Airbus A330 which obtained some 1,482 orders over the years with the A330-300 and A330-200 being the most popular. The classic A330 as it's now known can be seen around the world at almost every airport, however it is a dominant force within Asia with airlines like Cathay Pacific, Cathay Dragon, Air China and more all operating with it. The A330neo was first introduced in 2014 at the Farnborough Air Show. Airbus promises 14% better fuel economy per seat on this new A330neo and currently has two versions that are based off the A330-200 and A330-300. The new versions will be called the A330-800neo and the A330-900neo, however the neo will probably be removed for it to be set in a more simpler form. The Dash 8 is set to cover 13,900km with a capacity of 257 passengers, while the Dash 900 version will hold 30 more passengers at 287 while flying only 12,130 kilometers. The Dash 900 made its first flight on the 19th of October 2017 and is set at this stage to be introduced with TAP Air Portugal around mid 2018, however that is subject to change. One of the main motivations for this A330neo was Air Asia's boss exclaiming he would like Airbus to re-engine the A330. However, Airbus sales chief John Leahy, hopefully I pronounce that correctly, stated that he could lower the overall cost of the A330 even without new engines. Delta were another airline among others that made it clear they wanted to replace their Boeing 767-300ERs, which is in the 250-300 seat market. This new A330neo in both versions fits that seat market perfectly. Back in 2014, Airbus hoped to sell some 1000 A330neo aircraft. New winglets, which are 3.7 meters wider than the A350 extra wide body styled winglets, and new engine pylons will help improve aerodynamics by 4%. One interesting fact is both the A330-800neo and the A330-900neo will retain the same fuselage lengths as the A330-200 and A330-300 respectively, but with cabin optimization, a further 10 additional seats will be able to be fitted on the A330-900neo and 6 on the A330-800neo. When it comes down to the orders following the program launch back in July of 2014, Airbus received commitments for 121 of the new A330neo aircraft. Breaking that down, AirAsia originally placed an order for 50 of the A330neos. 55 were ordered by an Airlease Corporation and 4 for an unnamed Asian customer. Soon after the air show was completed, Hawaiian Airlines committed to 6 of the A330-800neos with an additional purchase rights for 6 more, making the total come to 12. This was because the airline had originally ordered the A350-800 aircraft, which of course has not gone ahead. Delta Airlines have also ordered 25 of the A330-900neo aircraft, and in 2014, AirAsia also announced an order for a further 5 on top of their original order for the A330-900neo aircraft, which is the largest single order to date for the Airbus A330 family. Also in 2014, um, Avalon, hopefully I pronounced that correctly as well, it's kind of like Avalon but with an O, confirmed its order for 15 A330neo aircraft and then out of nowhere, TransAsia Airways announced themselves as an unknown customer and placed a firm order for 4 of the A330-800neos. However, the airline ceased operations so therefore was unable to commit to its orders. Uh, Arkia Israel Airlines, if that's how it's pronounced, have committed to 4 of the A330-900neo aircraft. Tap Air Portugal, who are now the launch customers, have ordered 14 of the A330-900neos. AirAsia, after two years of the original 55 order, said they would order 66 A330neos, and an undisclosed customer ordered 14 after the Singapore Air Show. Of, this is of the A330-900neo aircraft. This was later to be revealed, though, as Garuda Indonesia. Currently, there are some 212 aircraft on order for the A330neo, with more likely to come as the A330neo rolls out to tap Portugal. Some airlines, I believe, should order this aircraft include Qantas and Virgin Australia, with their current fleet consisting of A330s, 300s, and A330-200s. I believe these new neos would be truly the perfect fit for the airlines' operations, especially on coast-to-coast -coast routes. 
and significant routes throughout Asia. In Virgin Australia's aspect, this airplane would be perfect for allowing them to further expand in Asia and boost their passenger numbers and increase their profit. So that's going to conclude the video for today. Let me know in the comment section below which airlines you want to see order either the A330-900neo or the A330-800neo. And finally, feel free to let me know if you actually like the looks of this aircraft. So thank you very much for watching once again. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.